Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. Um, it's Wednesday, and we're mid through the way through the week. We're over halfway through the month, though. For those that get paid once a month, we're a little closer to payday, so you can pay your bills and keep the lights on and stay in your apartment or your house or wherever you live. I had a little funny I wanted to share with you. It was a cute one, my minions. Today is going to be an awesome day. And we need to keep telling ourselves that so that it is an awesome day. You know, I wanted to talk today, uh, some scripture I wanted to share with you. You know, one of my pet peeves is we give the devil too much credit. People say, well, the devil did it or the devil caused this. You know, I think a lot of our problem is ourselves. We make poor choices. You know, I was looking back in Old Testament scripture, and I wanted to share a devotion from Deuteronomy today, and I would title this devotion to choose life or death. You know, if you know me, you know my favorite scripture is from Joshua twenty-four fifteen, and as for me and my house, we will follow the Lord. And I think that's the choice that people need to make, and people are making poor choices, and our actions have consequences. And I wanted to share that with you today. So let's look at this scripture. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. You know, that's interesting scripture. Every parent has dealt with this at some time or another, and that what I'm talking about that they've dealt with is it's your choice exercise. Parents always go through this with their kids and teenagers. We start out when the kids are small. We tell them, we set out two alternatives, two possibilities or two choices, as well as the ramifications or consequences for each of those choices. And then we let the child choose and live with the consequences, don't we? This is how they learn, right? Sometimes the shortcut's not the right way to go, is it? You pay a price. We get what we pay for. We often say that. We also give what we put into something or get back what we put in, I should say. So when we don't spend a lot of time practicing for sports or practicing for our reading or writing, we don't do well. You know, sometimes life gives us choices. Every day we have choices. And the consequences of these are unknown. So we have to make our best decision and just move forward, don't we? But in the spiritual and moral realms, choices are much clearer than that. When Moses was preparing the Israelites to inhabit the promised land of Canaan, he set before them the scripture that I've read to you today. He gave them two ways, life and good or death and evil. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15. You see, he had previously spelled out for them the consequences of each way of life. Walking in the covenant with God would bring life now and blessings and eternal life. But rejecting God's ways would bring death and destruction. We know that Joshua reiterated these choices to them again years later. He said, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. You will have choices today. And you're going to have to make those choices. Choose life and choose blessings by choosing the ways of the Lord. I want to remind you those little temptations, they could snowball on you and turn into bigger things. And it's hard to get your way out of them. So make sure you nip it in the bud. When you're sitting around and people are talking and gossiping, don't say a word. Don't be a part of it. Walk away. When someone's flirting with you, walk away from that. Be faithful to your partner. When you have the opportunity to lie or cheat or steal in your job, don't do that because it will come back to bite you. And the consequences are not good. Make sure you reject it. Even the smallest thing. Stop it before it happens. You'll have choices today and tomorrow and the rest of this week. And I encourage you to choose life. 
follow God's will. Do what's right. Give your employer a full, honest day's work. And be thankful. You know, rejoice in God. Be in church. Thank Him for all the blessings He's given us. And when we do that, He'll bless you. I hope you have a great day, great rest of your week, and have a positive attitude and share the blessings with those around you. I want to ask you to pray with me before we close. Almighty God, I just pray that someone that is listening to me today is being tempted. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will fill them and lead them and guide them to do your will. Help them to remember that they have those watching them, that they can be a living example and a witness. And give them strength, Father, as we all face those temptations. There's someone I know that's sick, that needs your healing hand upon them. I pray you'll bless them. Help them to overcome whatever they're dealing with right now. Let them feel your presence, God. Your love, your mercy. And help those of us that are listening to this word today be the hands and feet of Christ. Let us reach out to someone that's in need today and give them an encouraging word and show them love. We thank you for your blessings, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. I pray that you have a good day and the rest of your week is profitable. And I pray that you're safe. God bless you. I hope to see you soon.